Okay, so to start, I've already cleaned out the seeds um, of the inside of my fresh jalapenos. And I actually have an older video for jalapeno poppers that are actually some of my favorite. It's using pickled jalapenos and cheddar cheese. I will link that in the description below. This is just something I'm going to put together with cream cheese today, which is another option for jalapeno poppers. So you'll want to clean out your jalapenos. These are actually really large and I only had six or seven to work with. So I'm just gonna see if I have enough to fill five of these. So there's my jalapenos. I'm also going to use one eight ounce block of cream cheese. This is sort of at room temperature. It's softened enough so I can mix it in with the shredded cheese I'm adding. This is four ounces of shredded white cheddar cheese. Use the cheese of your choice, or you could just leave it out and just use cream cheese, up to you. So now I'm just going to basically stuff my jalapenos. And you know what, I have gloves on, so let's just make life easier, shall we? Just go ahead and do that. Using gloved hands always works when you're messing with fresh peppers, especially when they're spicy, because rubbing your eyes after this will be a problem. I have done that before. So once I'm done stuffing the pepper, I'm going to place it on a baking sheet. Okay. So my peppers are stuffed and you'll notice I went ahead and took one and sliced it in half. This is another option for filling the peppers, but when you do it this way, you'll need to freeze them solid. It works a lot better when you're dredging them and frying them if you freeze these first. But for these, I'm gonna basically put this in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes just to get solid again. That'll make life a lot easier when you're starting to fry them. Okay, so my jalapenos have been in the freezer for about 20 minutes, so they're pretty solid, especially that there's cream cheese in there. Now, if this was something like Velveeta cheese or a, a processed American cheese, you definitely want to freeze it until frozen solid, probably like an hour or so. All right, so I am going to create a little, well, I already did. It's a dredge station, so let's see here. I have a third cup of all-purpose flour, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to that and just give it a mix. Okay, I'm also going to add a pinch of salt to my breadcrumbs. Here I have one cup of panko breadcrumbs and a half cup of just plain breadcrumbs. You can use just regular breadcrumbs, all panko, it's up to you. And before I forget, let's switcheroo this. So I also have two large eggs that I'm just going to beat, and that's it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, well, I should use my gloved hand. <laughs> I'm going to take one jalapeno, dredge it into the egg, into the breadcrumbs. You could do the wet, wet hand, dry hand method. That works better. I just... I'm just gonna get things a little messy. Actually, I'm gonna do a little double dredge. See how that works. I think I can get double dip these and have enough. And then once I'm done coating it, I'm just gonna place it on a baking sheet to hang out until I'm, I've done the rest. Okay, so my jalapenos are coated and dredged. So while they sit here, I have been preheating my fry oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a good fry temp. And let's see. I'm just going to take one and add it right into my fry oil. There we go. I'll do, these are actually really large jalapenos. I'll just do two at a time. And you're basically going to fry these until the exterior is a deep golden brown color. And you don't want to take them 
all the way deep golden brown. They still continue to cook a little bit after you take them out. So if you take them out too late, they might end up really, really overcooked and fried. Okay, so my jalapeno poppers are done, and I do have some still hanging out on my wire rack, but these are ready, and I'm going to show you the inside of one. I'm going to try to bite or cut into it without making a mess. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.